In chapter 17, we are going to be studying um, dienes, which are molecules that have two carbon-carbon double bonds. There are three different types of dienes, or three different ways that the that the two double bonds in a molecule can be um, in proximity with each other. And so in this first section, 17.1, we're just going to define the three different types of dienes and distinguish between, uh, distinguish between the three of them. The first one that we're going to talk about is the cumulated diene. A cumulated diene is a molecule that has adjacent carbon-carbon double bonds. An example of accumulated diene would be something like this. where the double bonds are side by side. And we also have a conjugated diene. In a conjugated diene, the double bonds are separated by one carbon-carbon single bond. Most of the dienes that we're going to study in Chapter 17 are conjugated dienes. And there's an example of a conjugated diene where your double bonds are separated by just one single bond. And the third type is an isolated diene. In an iso isolated diene, the double bonds are separated by more than one single bond. So, for example, these are isolated. This is an isolated diene because we have one, two, three single bonds that are separating the two bo double bonds from each other. Here's another isolated diene, and the double bonds are separated by one, two single bonds or one, two single bonds. One of the things that is going to come up uh, in the next section, 17.2, is the configuration of the, the pi orbitals in these three different types of alkenes, and you have a figure in your textbook, 17.1, which is on page 769, and here they're showing the pi orbitals of the alkenes in the three different types of dienes. And so in accumulated diene, the pi orbitals of the two double bonds are perpendicular to each other, which means that they are... Uh, unable to interact with each other, so this pi bond up here is unable to interact with this pi bond down here, <coughs> which is going to become important later on. And in an isolated double bond, the pi bonds are too far apart from each other to be able to interact with each other, and because they're separated by too many carbon-carbon um, single bonds. So they also are unable to interact with each other. This pi bond cannot interact with this pi bond. And in the conjugated diene, the double bonds are close enough t together to each other that they actually are able to interact across the carbon-carbon single bond. So let's say this is a double bond right here, and there's pi interaction between these two orbitals. And then this is also a double bond here, and there's pi interaction between these two orbitals. Even though this is a single bond, and technically we wouldn't expect to see pi interaction right here, because these two p orbitals are close enough to each other in proximity, they actually get um, a little bit of interaction right here. And so that plays a big part in the stability of conjugated dienes. <clears throat> so
So you can practice identifying three different types of dienes with conceptual checkpoint 17.1. And your study question is just on the definitions. What is the difference between cumulated, conjugated, and isolated dienes? This probably should be, yeah, that's probably okay. I don't know. Grammar. What is or are, I don't know which one is right. 